Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about ng template and ng container. We will also see the differences between them. Often this is one of those most uh, asked question in the interviews. So if you are planning to attend an interview, this is a question that you can definitely expect uh, from the interviewee. So let's get started uh, and learn about ng template and ng container. This is part 80 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. Uh, I have planned around 100 tutorials. We are right now at 80. The next 20 episodes I will dedicate it to testing and building and all such um, features of Angular. So do stay tuned for that. All right, uh, please do um, share these videos with your friends, colleagues um, who wants to learn Angular. Uh, and also please do subscribe. I see that a lot of people view the videos but don't subscribe. If you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so on your screen right now, you're seeing all the topics that I've covered from ground zero from scratch to most advanced use cases, uh, making it the most comprehensive tutorial available on, on YouTube for free. So do check out the entire series to learn more. Today we are learning about ng template and ng container. So let's start with ng container first. So what is an ng container? In Angular, you cannot use more than one template binding on an element, right? Um, so most often you would see that you cannot use two bindings on a same element on or on the inside the template. So one way to fix that is adding an extra div, right? And what happens is when you add an extra div on top of it, it's redundancy in your uh, div in the DOM element. So instead of adding an extra div, we can just use the ng container element. That way you don't have to add an extra div in your DOM. I'm going to show you all of this in hands-on practical so that you understand and you can explain it to the interviewer. So just think of ng container as an external parent element used for wrapping the child elements. Okay, which is not visible in your DOM. That is an important key thing. It's an external parent element for wrapping the child elements, but it's not available in the DOM. That's ng container. Now, what is ng template? ng template element defines a template that doesn't render anything by default, right? So it doesn't it doesn't show any the content inside the ng template will not show anything by default you need to have some kind of a structural directive. That's what it's used with, like ng4, ng if, ng switch, right? And whatever we place it in it, it will be based on that condition or the directives uh, operation, okay? So that is mainly the concept of ng container and ng template. Now I'm going to do hands-on exercise, show you different use cases, how it can be done, and I'm sure uh, it will be clear to you. If you still have any questions or doubts, please ask me in the comment section. I'll try and help you as much as I can. Let's do the hands-on activity now. All right, so I'm taking this, um, any component you can, um, for that matter, it doesn't matter where you do it. So I'm going to use this component that is I'm working as part of the Angular 12 playlist. Uh, make sure you check out that also. <coughs> Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to throw in a variable for now, and I'm going to say admin role and say boolean equal to false. So what I'm doing, I'm creating a new variable by the name admin role. It's a boolean and default value is false, okay? So we will use this in our template and here we will add, and here I will add a condition and say ng if is equal to admin role, user is an admin, right? If it is true, user is an admin, right? Save it and go back to component, make it true. So what we are expecting now is that whenever we re reload, it will see this, which is user is an admin, right? Because the condition is true here, if you see, admin role, boolean, true, okay? So that's why we are seeing user is admin. Now, make it false, we should not see it. We are not seeing it, perfect. So far, so good. Now, go to the template, and let's write the if condition. How do you write the if condition? Now that's where you're, you can use it with ng template, right? One of the use case. 
let me show you that so ng template here i'm saying if the you if this is true execute this block else right put ha, put the variable name and say not admin so here i'm saying if admin role is true show this div else show this block so here i'm going to put not admin remember i have to add hash here here you won't add that user is not a admin okay so see this is how you write if else block using ng template okay so go back here you are saying user is not an admin and this is coming from the ng template so go here mat card you see you will not see any div or anything wrapped up around it right see here there is no div there is no span just ng template which is loaded in your dom right so that is one of the use case with ng template that is now let me again show you with um, you can do that with ng switch ng4 etc okay now let's say there is a use case with ng container right so let's do i want to wrap it up i want to show this entire block right i want to show this entire block based on some condition let's say if role is defined let's say i have a variable right usually you would end up writing something like this this is a workaround which is not i'm not saying it's wrong i'm just saying that it would add an extra div in your dom element now let's see i'm going to put this component and again define this role okay so i have defined the variable now which is what i'm using here and i'm saying if it is true display this now let's see you won't see anything here right if you open the see there is no binding here now now let's put it to true so what happens it will be visible in the dom now see here it's visible in the dom here you see div user is not an admin so what happened here we just added an extra div for this which we do not intend right it unnecessarily added an extra div element in your dom you can avoid that by just writing instead of div just write ng container so now it will not it the data will still display but you don't have an extra div in your dom now see here i see the value user is not an admin but there is no extra div around it right so that is the main main difference between ng template and ng container that is ng template will not have anything by default now let me show you that also so if you just say ng template and show this text will not be displayed or rendered let's see you see usually if you put a div it will be visible right or a span it will be visible like this but ng template when you use it's used with directives like ng if ng for or it can be anything like you can write ng for also that's also correct you can write ng switch you can write i have shown you ng uh, you can use like this ng if equal to this is also correct so you can use it with some directive and that is what it will display if this condition is true right it will not display anything by default that is the important concept also it is not there in your dom just see just see here that you will not see it's in, it's not there in your dom right it is not there at all so that's the important difference between ng template ng container ng container is like a parent container but it is not rendered in your dom ng template will not display anything by default it's used with structural directives like ng if ng for ng switch etc and the content will be loaded 
but not with the tag okay i hope uh, the difference is clear i would encourage that you go ahead type this see the difference in your dom see the difference in the ui okay and that's where it will be clear because this is one question that they will ask you in your interview and even for that matter when you're working on your day to day basis you will require these to work with okay so it's a good habit uh, to learn and practice go ahead learn it let me know if you have any doubts in the next episode i will cover in a very important topic called ng hyphen content which relates to content projection in angular applications sometimes you can just project the content inside a certain uh, element let's say for example if you have a mat card you want certain data to go into content section you want certain data to go into actions uh, so that's where we can project the content using ng content i'm going to cover that uh, in detail with lot of use cases for today we covered ng template and ng container hope it's clear ask me if you have any doubts thank you so much join me in the next episode but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much